Alrighty guys, we are back with WWE 2K22 Smackdown My GM mode We're coming off the back of the SummerSlam pay-per-view It was a pretty successful pay-per-view for us You can see we've closed the gap to Raw now This is probably the closest we've been to Raw since I want to say week 4 Yeah, so since week 4 Raw did go on to like create a gap They were putting on consistently better shows but over the last three weeks last four weeks we have brought that gap down and we're within striking distance i don't think we're going to take over raw in the next couple of weeks but potentially in the build up to the next pay-per-view who knows maybe after that we could be ahead of stephanie mcmahon and the red brand but before we get into today's show we've got some power cards that we want to buy you can veto uh, a top star from their show so we're going to go ahead and do that and we're going to use that tonight reason i'm going to use that tonight is i don't think our show is the greatest i'll be honest we've already booked the matches i've booked the promos we're starting fresh we're trying to get rivalries going for the next pay-per-view i don't think our show tonight is great so with that said i am um, i'm gonna do that i'm gonna fade to a star and hopefully that raw has a poor show, and that our show that I expect to be pretty poor is a wee bit better than theirs. Uh, simple maths, guys. So I don't think we're going to fix anything. We're just going to get straight into it. So this is what we've got. Uh, open up. We've got Sasha Banks taking on Nia Jax. We've got X Pack with a role change. I want X Pack to be a face at this moment. He's currently a heel, so hopefully we can get that changed. Uh, we've got a mid card match: Mysterio and Joe versus Seth Rollins and Otis. We've got Drew McIntyre calling out Roman Reigns. I want this to be the next uh, Universal Championship match at the pay-per-view. And then a rematch of uh, the SummerSlam fight between Road Dogg, Jesse James and Sheamus. It's going to be another one-on-one -on -one match and these two are going to main event SmackDown. So Road Dogg probably never thought he'd be main event SmackDown in 2022. Well, I guess, I guess dreams do come true. I guess every dog has his day, and tonight it's Road Dog's day. But the show's going to cost us 163 grand. That's a lot of money, man. Thankfully, we're a McMahon. Thankfully, we've got a shitload of cash in our bank. So, uh, yeah, let's get into this. Let's do this. Up first, it's Sasha Banks versus Nia Jax. It's a win for Sasha. Boss time. Okay match. Two and a half stars. We've got X Pack turned in face. Promo rating was excellent. I don't know if the promo rating has an effect on the, the face heel turn, but yeah, I'd rather an excellent promo than a bad promo. We've got Samoa Joe and Rey Mysterio taking on Rollins and Otis. Big win for Rey and Samoa Joe in all two and a half star match. We've got Drew McIntyre now calling out Roman Reigns in an excellent promo. It's created a new rivalry. That rivalry is now a one level star. And in the main event then, a rematch for the pay-per-view guys. It's Road Dog Jesse James, taking on Sheamus. At the pay-per-view, we played as Sheamus. Tonight, we're going to play as the Road Dog, And we're going to see if we can level up this series at 1-1. Or oh, is the Celtic Warrior Sheamus going to come out on top again? We'll find out. But big night for Road Dog. Massive night for Road Dog. Big night for Sheamus as well, though. Let's be real. <laughs> he won't want to lose to a 55-year-old dog or whatever age Road Dog has. Surely he must be 55 or, or at least in his 50s, 100%. Not quite sure what his age is. But he's getting to the age now, well, he probably needs put down. Let's be completely honest here. The Road Dog is probably ready to retire into a kennel near you and um, have one last sleep. See good night and that is damn right but here he comes here he's not gonna go out without a fight he's gonna give it his all he's gonna take it to the celtic water he's gonna take it to sheamus and we're gonna see if every dog has his day and will this be road dog's last day but here we go getting in the ring we've heard it all before we don't need to hear his catchphrases again let's go let's do this it's road dog versus sheamus main event of smackdown did people see this one coming probably not if I'm being completely honest, probably not. But it's happening. It is happening. So here we go. Sheamus, he knows that he won it at the pay-per-view. He's probably feeling like he maybe deserves a title shot. You know, it's possible that Sheamus might be in line for a championship match. Will it happen? We'll have to wait and see. Here he comes. 
the big man. And Seamus is a big man, what about 6'3, 6'4, close to 260 pounds. This is uh, it's a pretty big physical dude here, and I'm sure Road Dog is going to find that out the hard way tonight. Seamus now making his way to the ring. Is he getting ready to take on Road Dog in a huge match? A match that, obviously, it's not just a match on SmackDown, it's not just a TV match, it's a main event match, so... Huge here for Road Dog, huge here for Seamus, but there can only be one winner. Well, actually, I guess there's loads of winners. The SmackDown crowd, everybody's getting to see this match. I guess that's good for them, but here we go. Referee rings the bell, Road Dog locking up. Seamus ain't having it, Seamus with a big strike, and Seamus with a massive backbreaker. In the opening couple of seconds, they're taking Road Dog down. Road Dog fight back though, big right hand there to Sheamus. Road Dog, Sheamus fighting his way out. Road Dog, I think he was going for maybe a DDT perhaps. Sheamus not having it, and Sheamus lifts him up, scoops him, slams him, drops a knee across the face of the Road Dog. Now Sheamus, unfamiliar territory here, going to the top rope. Oh, and I don't know what happened there. Road Dog, I think tried to. Take Seamus by surprise, tries to knock him off the top rope, but he ends up hurting his elbow. And Seamus is here to pounce on him. He's pouncing on the dog, he's taking advantage of Road Dog. And now he's working that arm, working the body parts. He's got that arm out on, he just drops a D onto it again here. So Seamus obviously has picked a body part, and that part is the arm. And he's going to work on the arm of Road Dog. Another big scoop slam. Road Dog here needs to try and get to his feet, needs to try and create something. It's Seamus going for the Celtic Cross. And he just plants Road Dog in the middle of the ring here. And Seamus goes for the cover. Oh, and Road Dog kicks out. I mean, literally, Road Dog kicking out there. With like a split second to go. That was insane. Oh, and a big boot. The Celtic Warrior with a big boot there. And I don't think he's kicking out of that. And he's not. Jesus, that was complete domination here. What is Seamus made of? What did he have his breakfast today, man? He's just absolutely annihilated the Road Dog. I cannot believe what Seamus has done here tonight. He has absolutely destroyed the Road Dog, Jesse James. And this was a good match, three stars. Big win for Seamus. I'm not surprised Seamus won, but I am surprised in the way that Seamus won complete domination there. Road Dog never stood a chance. But let's move on to Raw then. They're opening up the show with Austin Fury versus Kyle O'Reilly. That's not good for us. Four star match is the last thing we wanted to see. Uh, got Ivar versus Santos Escobar up next. We need a bad rating. Oh, one and a half stars. And that gives us a chance. That's a really poor rating. Uh, main event is Beth Phoenix versus Reckoning. Women's Championship on the line. Beth Phoenix picks up the win. Three and a half stars. I think that'll be enough for Raw. I would expect Raw to win. Uh, yeah, their mid-card match was terrible. But overall, they, they did better than us. I mean, if you add up their stars, they get to what? Nine stars. If you add up our stars, we get to eight. So, I mean, Raw should have beat us tonight. Let's see, though. We put on a show quality card of a C and a match card quality B. We've gained 30,000 fans. Uh, Raw did a C and a C and they gained 31,000 fans. So Raw actually beat us tonight. They gain a little bit more fans than we do. But to be fair, you know, I'm probably happy with that. Considering I did think our show was weak. The fact that we only lost like 2,000 fans to Raw is pretty good. Carmella, my contract come up at Smackdown at the end of the week. I'd be interested in staying. She wants 47k. Um, yeah. Why not? Yeah, sure. Well, I guess I guess we need women champion. We need women on this roster. So. Uh, hey, Otis wants a win. Okay. Hey boss, I've been talking with Reigns a lot. He had this great idea that we should team up for a tag team match. I think we'd actually make an awesome tag team. So Seamus wants to team up with... Uh, Sure, why not? I mean, Sheamus is on a roll lately. Sheamus is picking up wins. Why not put him in a tag team match with the champion, guys? So that's what we're going to do next time. 
We'll, well, maybe not this week, but we will try and at some point we'll try and team Sheamus up with Roman Reigns. But that's going to do it, guys. That will do it for this episode of the SmackDown GM mode. Looking forward to the next one. Um, we need to get a tag team partner for Road Dog. Is there anybody we can think of? I wonder. But anyway, that's going to do it, guys. Till next time. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next episode of my GM. And until then, peace.